Hello everyone, I'm Liu Chen from National Chuan University. And today I'm going to talk about supporting TV and QN flow on RISC-V with CMD computation. And this topic is related to use RISC-V and P extension for machine learning over AI application. And this work is cooperated with my colleague and also with my professor Jun Kun Li and with the members from Andes Technology. So first I'll quick give a quick look at TVN. It is an open deep learning compiler that can optimize and compile models from different sources, such as PyTorch, Cafe, MSNet, TensorFlow or Onyx. And after several stages of optimization, it can output for different backends, including LVNIR. So for our work, we output the LVNIR and then handle it in the LVN that we maintain for RISC-V or P extension. And our work, uh, our team have already worked on this flow for around a year. So this work is basically based on our previous work. So why we choose to use TVN? We want to utilize the optimization space that TVN provides, and then leverage your risk 5 v and P extension on the optimized model. So TVN does two level optimizations, including graph level and operator level. During graph level optimization, it will rewrite the computational graph of the model and do optimization like OP fusion, data layer transformation, or constant folding. And as for operator level, TVN used a IR called TVNIR to represent the computational part of a NN operator, like convolution or full connected dense uh, batch normalization. So then we can control the compute strategy by scheduling to the specific operator. TVN provides a feature like a basic loop transformation so that we can do loop splitting, loop tiling, loop fusion, and also it provides a feature called tensorization, which is the main technique we use in our work. And so we will get more into it in the letter. For our work, we focus on compiling quantization neural network. This is a model with data and weight are saved in lower precision, and normally they are saved as integer 8. The transfer function for quantization includes in different ways, such as uh, asymmetric, asymm uh, uh, symmetric, asymmetric, and logarithm. So uh, why we choose to use QN as our target? The first thing is that machine learning model usually has many parameters, which are saved as floating point, and this is too huge for an end device. So by converting into the lower position, the model size will be much smaller. And then uh, compared to computation between floating point, energy is more powerful and faster and lower power consumption. So currently TVN supports QN in two ways. The first is QN dialect. It will parse pre model from source like TensorFlow line or MSNet, and then recognize them inside the TVN. So for this approach, you usually preserve the accuracy, but you need to do a lot of work while training the model. And for the quantization scheme, it used uh, may vary various for well fitting the model. Second one is automatic quantization. It does quantization and calibration inside the TVN. That means you can just consume a FP model and then quantize it in TVN into uh, in, in the ad. So this way it's possible to introduce the accuracy loss. But you can still have chance to use integer com computation while doing the inference. Next is how we efficient inference the QN, especially for the optimization stage in convolution. We can see that the convolution always takes 8 bits as input and then output the result as in 32. And as we know, the basic component of convolution is dark product. It performs dark product and then accumulates the result with source into 32 bits. And actually, this computation will repeat again and again. This is quite slow and waste resources, since it only uses 8 bits in a 64 bit GPR. So for our work, it's aiming to optimize this part by CMD computation. This is supported by RISC-V or P extension. So here's a quick review about RISC-V and P. 
Ritz 5V is designed for support for superworld CD computation, and the vector length is scalable with various data type. And for Ritz 5P extension, it is proposed by NDIS technology for application on embedded processor or DSP-like DSP devices. And it provides instruction for support CD computation and only supports for uh, lower precision numerical like integer or face point type. So now more in the details of our work. We use a technique in TVN stack called tensorization. It provides a straightforward way to utilize special instruction for common machine learning computation, such as vector or tensor computation. So it can then replace the block of computation into a designed highway primitive, and this is totally controlled by a programmer. So this process of fetching the computation is automatic, and we the things we only need to do is to uh, doing some schedule to expose the target pattern. So for example, uh, we can fetch a code block like this after doing schedule to the convolution. So we use SQL here to demonstrate a specific case. It does that product with length 4 for twice. And normally to compute this code block, we need a bunch of instruction to handle. But with tensorization, we can convert it into single hardware primitive. They can do that uh, vector that product in once. Obviously, this is more efficient than the previous one. And in fact, this hardware primitive is a LVN intrinsic function that can be loaded into designing instruction in the LVN letter. For risk p extension, the instructions such as uh, smartcard or smartcard.su can be used for this case. It does 4 8 bits multiplication and then accumulate the result into 32 bits. For risk 5 v extension, we use two widen vector instructions to handle. Uh, let's say there have two vectors with 4 int a. With these two instructions, we do a widen multiplication and then do a widen reduction sum. As a result, we get a vector with 4 int 32. But only the first element is what we need, so we need to extract the vector in the end. We implement our work on TV and LVN and Spike. This evaluation uses P extension as Cindyiza. So for our LVN and Spike, we maintain the version that supports for P extension. And while compiling in TVN, the FP model we used are totally uh, M totally pure without any schedule. And for quantized model, we register custom schedule and tensorization to convolution and leave other ops empty. The benchmark we used including MobileNet v1, v2, and Inception v3, v4, that we took from TensorFlow Lite host model with TensorFlow Lite v1. And the data set is from ImageNet 2012. For the performance, we compared the totally instruction count between floating point model and pre model on Spike. Here's the performance overview. The x-axis is the model we used, and the y-axis shows the speed up. For the improvement in mobile net, it can achieve 3.67 and 2.03 uh, in mobile net v1 and v2. Note that we didn't optimize the depth-wise convolution for them. And for the inception, our work achieved around 7 times faster than the LP32 model. For accuracy, we test 5,000 images from ImageNet and compare the result with the official record in terms of light that runs on PSO3. We can see that our work didn't introduce the significant accuracy loss. And in addition to the experiment on Spike, we also evaluated our work on SEED. This is a refined simulator provided by NDIS. And this tool is more accurate with cycle information and pipeline. For conclusion, we enable TVN to generate the AI inference programs with CD instruction and run it on RISC-V architecture. And second, we illustrate how RISC-V and P extension can be used for inf efficiently inference on QM via TVN. And in the end, we present the experiment result that shows the performance improvement with QM. So that's all for this talk. Thank you.